First, I need to start out by apologizing to you for even spending one minute on gasoline. There just is no substance to it. But the anti-gas folks have made it such a centerpiece of what they're doing, we feel compelled to talk about it and frankly discredit it. Since gasoline came out, he got a lot of uh, uh, negative criticism that uh, he felt, Josh Fox, the guy who made it, felt compelled to make a 30-page written reply is called Affirming Gasland. Now, the movie Gasland was propaganda. Affirming Gasland is nothing but political spin. That's all. Now, let me just talk about some things that appear in Gasland, and they do, he just try to uh, explain away in, in affirming. First, there are the igniting water faucets. In Gasland, they like the water coming out of the tap. And Fox blames it on gas drilling. But before any, any gas wells were drilled, they could light the water coming out of their faucets. In fact, just as an aside, there are places in Newfield where you can light the water coming out of the faucets. There are places in Caroline where you can light the water coming out of faucets. In Fermi, Fox never addresses this key point that he knew for a fact that before any gas wells were drilled, the residents could ignite their tap water. The tape, by the way, is online where he admits he knew. I just want to give you a quote from the end of it. It, took, it actually took the question about five minutes. The tape was about five minutes long where Fox just kept dodging the answer. And he finally, the, the questioner just wouldn't give up, and he did answer it. The final question was, most people watching your film would think that lighting your water started with fracking. But you just said yourself, people lit their water long before fracking started. Is that correct? Fox's answer, yes. So if they have to lie to gas to stop gas drilling, that's okay. They don't see it as most of us who might have a shred of uh, ethical and moral fibers to left in us would say, you know, lying about something like this really isn't a good thing. But for these folks, hey, the end justifies the end. Now, then there's the Dunker Creek, Pennsylvania fish kit which Fox blames on microfracking. There was a fish kill that the Pennsylvania Department of uh, Environmental Preservation found was caused by chronic coal mine drainage, not hypofracking. This DEP finding directly contradicts gas land. But Foxy Josh says in affirming, this is a quote, those mines have been drained to the creek for decades so what changed suddenly to kill off the creek? The EPA is overlooking. Well, apparently the EPA isn't the only one overlooking stuff. What had changed in the creek was an exceptionally low water level. Low water level is the other part of the equation necessary to trigger what was called a golden bloom algae that killed the fish. Think in terms of dilution of a chemical. The more water you have, the more it's diluted, and the less likely it is to be a problem. The less water, less pollution, it could be a problem. That's what triggered the golden bloom, and that's right in the DEP report. And this is a quote. These gas fields are directly in the path of a thousand-year-old migration corridor of the pronghorn antelope, the mule deer, and the sage grouse. Oh, yeah. Each of these species is in danger. End of quote. Okay, the truth is that none of the three are endangered in Wyoming. But Josh doesn't deal with that troublesome fact. Nor does he try to explain away that the Wyoming sage grouse doesn't migrate. <laughs> but affirming does go through a tortured explanation of the term endangered. Apparently, endangered is in the eye of the beholder and not according to any written description. He does try to distract from his error by affirming that, this is a quote, herds of pronghorn, mule deer, and elk are down more than 46%. Unfortunately for Foxy Josh, he got that wrong too. Mule deer only 
are down 46%, of which 19 of that 46 is due to a very severe winter they had. The other 27%, studies say their numbers have stabilized. By the way, in Wyoming, there is a hunting season on the endangered mule deer. So that 27% can't be pushing them to extinction. Now there are so many errors in gasoline and affirming gasoline, it's just not worth our time to spend on propaganda. So 